Missing One Stuffed Rabbit by Marianne Cockerluffler. It was Friday afternoon and everyone in the second grade was excited. Coco, the class pet, would spend the whole weekend with one of them. The classroom grew quiet as Mrs. Robin picked a name. Coco will be going home with Janine, she called. Janine ran up and gathered Coco and his diary in her arms. Coco was not a real rabbit. He was a brown stuffed rabbit. He was an important part of Mrs. Robin's second grade class. Each day, someone's name was picked from a big bowl, and that child got to take Coco home overnight. Coco traveled everywhere with his diary. Each student helped him write his thoughts inside. Wednesday, Matthew put me in his backpack. We went to soccer practice. Matthew let me wear his favorite hat. I cheered when he got a goal. Thursday, after school, I went to the roller skating rink with Christina. My leg is broken, so I just watched. Christina's sister fed me a jelly sandwich. My fur is sticky. Monday, I went home with Addie. I met her bunny, Snowball. He did not look like me. Addie read me Peter Rabbit. It was a great story. Tuesday, I went to the playground with Danny after school. We played on the monkey bars. I fell and broke my leg. Danny fixed it. Janine was beaming when her mom picked her up. Guess what? I can keep Coco for the whole weekend. She slid into the car. Her baby sister, Kristen, tried to grab Coco. Mine, she said. Janine quickly buckled Coco into his seatbelt. That afternoon, Janine took Coco to visit her Nana. Nana cut some carrots for him. That night at home, Janine read Coco a story and tucked him in bed. On Saturday, Janine and Coco did everything together. I'm starving, said Mom. Let's go for lunch. On Sunday, the family went to the mall. Coco came too. They went from store to store searching for just the right shoes. Finally, they each found the perfect pair, along with lots of other things. They piled their bags into the booth. Let's get a high chair for Coco, said Janine. Coco? Where's Coco? They looked in all the bags. No Coco. Dad looked under the table. No Coco. Oh no, cried Janine. I lost Coco. Calm down, said Dad. We'll just retrace our steps. Dad, we were in every store in the small, moaned Janine. We'll never find him. The family spent the rest of the afternoon searching the mall for Coco. They even checked the lost and found department three times. On Monday morning, Janine had to go to school without Coco. She stood in front of the class and read from his diary. Weekend. I went home with Janine on Friday. On Saturday, we rode her bike. On Sunday, I got lost in the mall. Please help Janine find me. A tear rolled down Janine's cheek. Don't worry, Janine. We'll all help, said Mrs. Robin. How about if we make posters, suggested Addie. Great idea, Mrs. Robin handed out paper. Missing. One stuffed rabbit. Name, Coco. Description, broken fur. Broken left leg. Lost at the North Shore Mall. Call 
Oakland Vale School, 555-1234. On Tuesday after school, Mrs. Robin, Janine, and three classmates went to the mall. They hung up all the posters and checked the lost and found apartment again. No Coco. As they were leaving, Addie noticed a display. The sign read, Toy Drive. New or good used toys wanted. Addie and Janine ran to the counter. Where do all these toys go? asked Janine. We bring them to the children's hospital, said the woman. Mrs. Robin, called Janine, I'll bet Coco is at the hospital. Let's go, shouted the children. They all rushed to the hospital. As they ran inside, they saw something amazing. A big green frog was handing out toys and poking out of the top of his basket was one stuffed rabbit. Coco! Just then, the frog gave Coco to a little girl. Thank you, said the little girl. Look, he has a broken leg just like me. Uh-oh, whispered Janine. Isn't he cute? The little girl held up Coco. I'm going to name him Cinnamon. I'm going to take care of him. She gave Coco a big hug. Cinnamon really needs me. Janine looked at her friends, then at her teacher. She cleared her throat. I think Coco, I mean Cinnamon, was lucky to find you. Janine moved closer to the little girl. My name is Janine. I'm Teresa. At that moment, the frog gathered everyone together for some photos. Snap, snap, he gave pictures to Janine and Teresa. Tuesday, Janine and the others found me. I am now with someone who really needs me. Her name is Teresa. She loves me and will take good care of me. I had a lot of fun in your class, but I won't be coming back. Love, Coco. P.S. My new name is Cinnamon. P.P.S. Please write to Teresa and me. And that's just what they did. The next morning, Janine stood in front of the class and held up the picture. She read from Coco's diary. Rosie by Carol Diggory Shields. Have you met our Rosie yet? She's very, very sweet. We love her from her round pink ears down to her tiny feet. Be gentle, you can take her out. She'll climb up on your shoulder. And even Jake sits quiet when he gets a turn to hold her. About the author, Mary Ann Cockaleffler. Mary Ann Cockaleffler wrote Missing One Stuffed Rabbit for her daughters, Janine and Kristen. She also wrote it for Janine's first grade teacher and classmates. All the children got to take Coco home, writes Ms. Cockaleffler about Janine's class. Ms. Kaka Leffler's daughter, Kristen, made the poster illustration of Coco on page 149. Reader response, page 161. Let's talk. Have you ever owned something special? Tell about it. Think about it. Number one, did the second grade class like Coco? How do you know? Number two, why do you think Janine was upset when she lost Coco? Number three, why does Janine let the little girl in the hospital keep Coco? The Best by Kay Winters. The best part of the day is when I hear the teacher say, Sit by my chair while I read. We sprawl on the rug. It's like listening to a hug while the story magic pours over me. You're an author now by Callie Dacos. I'm writing, I'm writing, I'm writing in my book. I'm writing, I'm writing. Oh, teacher, come and look. You're writing, you're writing. I'm glad you've learned how. You're writing, you're writing. You're an author now. <laughs>